channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I am currently traveling around Europe. If you saw my last video, you know that I was just in Brussels for five days and I had an amazing time there. So if you want to check out my vlog, you can check it out right over here. Today, I actually just flew from Brussels to Budapest, which was only a two hour flight. And I actually met a really sweet Belgian guy on the plane and we just chatted. He's here to visit his girlfriend in Budapest. So we took the bus together from the airport into the city. So I just checked into my hostel, which is the Adagio Basilica hostel and it is called that because it is literally right next to the St. Stephen's Basilica which is absolutely stunning and look at my view. <laughs> Do you see this insane view? Literally amazing. Yeah I just got into my hostel and checked in. I have this nice little bunk here with a curtain for some privacy which is amazing and I am probably just going to chill for a little bit, take a quick shower if I can because I'm kind of gross from the plane and then I will go out and explore Budapest. Tomorrow I have a free walking tour book so I'm really excited to check out Budapest. It looks so beautiful on the way in so I'm super excited to check it out. time here in Budapest. I just woke up at like 8 30. I was like the first one up in my hostel room. Everybody's still asleep but I signed up for a free walking tour today. I actually signed up for the 12 p.m. one at first but then I realized it's gonna be really really hot at noon so I was thinking of doing it the early morning one so I booked the 10 a.m. one and that is all that I have planned for today. I am currently just in the lobby of the hostel's building and I'm about to head out. It's around 9 a.m. so let's go. just chilling outside of a hostel and I just used their Wi-Fi and like charged my phone for a little bit but I'm right next to Central Market Hall where I had lunch with one of the friends that I made on my free walking tour which was really really good I highly recommend doing that free walking tour we got lunch at the Central Market Hall and tried their Hungarian beef stew or like the stew version of the goulash which was really really good and not too expensive actually for the big portion that I had so that was really really fun and now I just rested for a little bit put on some more sunscreen because it's super hot here and I I'm going to head first to this chimney cake place and then I'm going to take the metro over to the other side of Budapest which is the Buddha side I'm on the Pesh side it's divided by the Danube River and so I'm going to go on to the other side which is the Buddha side where the castle and the fisherman's bastion are so that is my plan I have another free walking tour booked for that side of town at 4 30 so that is what I'm planning to do for my afternoon
Good morning. It is day three of my time here in Budapest. Yesterday I had so much fun. I met a bunch of people at my second walking tour of the day and we ended up getting dinner all together. There were people from Turkey, from Chile, from Brazil, from Australia, and it was just so much fun to meet other solo travelers. And we all went to dinner after at Drum Cafe, which I had heard really good things about their food, but their service was like kind of terrible and they forgot about us for basically the entire time we were there. So it took like two hours for us to like have our entire meal because they just forgot to bring us our food like for like an hour. But yeah, the food was good though. Today I just woke up at like 8.30 and I am going to be headed over to the, I don't know how to say it properly, but it looks like say Chenyi thermal baths, which are these super famous kind of hot spring baths in Budapest. So I'm gonna be heading, taking the metro over there right now. And then at 1 p.m. today, I have a reservation for New York Cafe, which is like a super famous restaurant here for like its beautiful interior. So I'm really excited to check that out at 1 p.m. And then my friends that I made yesterday are thinking about going to some ruined bars and maybe a club tonight. So I might go meet up with them afterwards, but that is my plan for now. I need to go head over to the metro and then go over to the thermal baths and have a good soak for a few hours. And I'll take you along with me. left the thermal baths as you can see behind me and they were really fun i got there at around like 9 40 and i spent about two hours there it's almost 12 30 now so i am heading back to my hostel to drop off my stuff and then i'm gonna head to my reservation but it was really really fun there's so many pools to choose from there's like a bunch of hot ones there's some cold ones and then the outdoor ones and indoor ones as well today it opened at 9 a.m i think and i got there around 9 40 so pretty early in the day there's like nobody there when i checked in at the lobby but now as i was leaving the whole lobby was like literally full of people trying to get in so definitely come early if you can it is totally worth it but yeah i'm gonna metro back to my hostel now and then i will head to my reservation at the new york cafe
currently in H&M. I just met up with some friends and we went to the ruin bar that I went to on the first night, which was called Simply Care. And there we just checked it out during the day, which is like a completely different vibe. We got a drink there and then we split up because we are gonna go home and like change and stuff. I came here to H&M to see if I could find some shorts because I don't really have too many shorts with me. That's what I'm trying on right now. We're meeting up to go to a bar and then maybe the club tonight. So that is the plan. walking home now from Instant, which is like the big club there which has like a bunch of different dance floors that you can be a part of and it was so much fun. So we go there with my friends and I just said bye to all of them and I'm heading back to my hostel now and tomorrow I have to wake up pretty early to check out and stuff before 10 a.m. so but I had so much fun. I met so many incredible people here and it was honestly like one of my favorite parts of my trip that I've done this entire summer. So I'm really, really glad I came to Budapest. This morning I just, I woke up pretty early actually at like 8 a.m. just by going to bed at like three in the morning because we got back from the club pretty late. But yeah, I woke up at like eight and then got ready. And then I even got had a little time to go grab some breakfast down the street. So I had like an omelet and then went back to my hostel checked out and now I'm at the tram station. I'm gonna board the tram in a second and head over to my bus station, which is about half an hour away, but it's not too bad to take the bus to my next stop, which is Bratislava, which I'm really excited to check out actually. So that will be my next vlog. I was gonna recommend the hostel that I stayed at, which is the Adagio Hostel 2, which was really, really good. My room was amazing, but I was just checking out and the people in front of me had like bed bugs, which is like a big yikes. So I don't know if I recommend it anymore, but it's a really, really good location right in the center of the city literally so much easy access to every single type of public transportation so if you're looking for a place to stay try to get as close to the city center as possible but yeah that was my entire trip i had so much fun here and thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos of my travels this summer my next stop is bratislava so i will see you then bye